Well, would you look at that? Starblade's evolving. It's pretty cool. Very, very cool. I actually thought it was going to be a raptor, but it turned out to be uh, an emo kid from like the early 2000s. Glad I wasn't one of them. Anywho, what's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. And yes, I was trading behind the scenes because, <laughs> yeah, I got my butt kicked quite a few times. My Pokemon got, got their butts kicked quite a few times. A little embarrassed about that because Barry, yeah, he he, he, he fine-tuned his Pokemon, and I'm not, 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 I'm not really happy about that. So, yes, behind the scenes, I did train my Pokemon just to get them, yeah, you know, right there, really within the levels of everybody right here. Didn't want to go too overpowered, and uh, let's see, what else? I'm just going to show you guys my good old Pokemon Starblade right here, as you can see. Level 37, normal and flying type Pokemon, and, uh, well, it's, it's attack is through the roof now, so it's a very physical attacker, and I did switch up a little bit of its attacks. As you can see, I did take away a Aerial Ace, but I brought it back because you can actually buy that TM for Aerial Ace, so, anywho, in this episode, we're gonna be going to the Iron Island, and, um, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool place to go, um... I would say you could go here, or you could go to the gym battle first, but most preferably go to Iron Island, just so you can go in linear uh, f form for the, the, the story right here, and god damn it, it's fast. Anywho, here we are, Iron Island in all its glory, and uh, there's a house right there, and uh, I'm pretty sure he is not here. Okay, so the gym leader usually rests right here. I think it's when you're done you can actually find them and uh, would you look at that we are, we have found Riley right right here and uh, he's gonna be training around this area but before he leaves he's gonna give us the HM04 of course we're in Iron Island and we can't use it right now because uh, we don't have the gym badge from the Cannon Lave City gym so yeah we're gonna have to wait on that so anywho as you can see this video is going to be at least 33 34 minutes long give or take, you know, with uh, the intros, outros, eh, just 33 minutes, you know, and, uh, yeah, there's quite a few episodes with 30 minutes or long and all that stuff, and I didn't edit any of this stuff right here, so we're going to be battling people, we're going to be grabbing some items, cool items, and, uh, yeah, did I mention that we're going to be battling a lot of people? That's right, you can't go wrong without battling people. Anywho, guys, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. The guy looks like, hey, it's a camper. Okay, it's a camper. Okay. And, uh, I guess he's camping inside here. Why would you camp inside a cave? I would never do that. There's bears. And ape bombs. Hell. Steelicus. They will eat you. Anyway, let's do this. Alright, so my Pokemon have learned quite a few new good moves. Uh, as you can see, my Toothless right here. Finally learned a Dragon Claw. And, uh, holy crud, this guy's going with agility. Okay, so it's now super fast. It's all right. It won't. It won't hurt me, right? It, it probably will. But here we go. Toothless, strong as an ox, and uh, nearly makes ape on fate. So we're gonna finish this guy off with uh, Dragon Claw. Let's go with Dragon Claw. Let's do that. Dragon Claw for the win. Oh yeah. And uh, well, there we go. Look at that. Bye bye, Dragon Claw. That's right. Okay, so he's coming out with a float, so another good Pokemon right there. And, uh, well, let's go ahead with Donatello right here. Now, you guys may have noticed that I actually have an open spot on my team. That is for what happens later on in this episode right here, because you will be needing an open spot if you want to get this special item. Um, it's an egg. That's all that there is to it, and no, I'm not going to be using it on my team. But, yes, keep an open spot, guys, because you will be receiving receiving an egg at the end of this whole thing. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm going to be going with this one right here. I'm going to go with a Mega Drain just to destroy this guy. I will destroy you. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it really doesn't help when you're not that fast. And, uh, oh, yes. Alrighty, okay, that's right, look at that, easy stuff, easy stuff right there, and uh, well, that's how you do it, defeat Camper Lewis or Lawrence, and uh, we're just going to be grabbing that small item right there, um, make sure to have that dowsing machine on guys, because there will be some hidden items, and as you can see, we found ourselves a protector, and that is a held item that you can give to a Rhydon, 
That way you can trade it and evolve it into Rhymperior, I think? Yes, Rhymperior. Rhymperior. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, we're here in the second area of the Iron Island area, and, uh, well, as you can see, I'm just checking to see if there's items. Uh, make sure to have Pokemon that know Rock, uh, Rock Smash, and, uh, let's see. Wait, Rock Smash? Seriously? I could be lying. I don't know. Maybe not. You will not, you won't be using the strength technique right here either, guys. There's no boulders. You're just gonna be needing a lot, and I mean a lot of repels, because... Uh, it's a long way. Take a look. It's 30 minutes long, guys. And here we go with another battle. And uh, she's another camper or picnicker, right? Let me see. Let me see. Yes, she's a picnicker summer. And uh, she is coming out with a Raichu, so I probably should have stayed with Toothless right there. Ugh, God. Good gravy. Good gravy. Mamma mia. Anywho, guys, uh, let's see, this is episode 46, so I'm assuming Christmas has already passed, probably, yeah. But anywho, if I haven't said it in the last few episodes, then I'll say it right here, guys. Merry Christmas from me to you. Let me see, I'm still thinking of, like, how many episodes that I came out, will, will I be coming out? Because prior to this whole thing, I'm, it's what, December 22nd, 2019, when I'm recording this with my majestic voice. And I just kicked that Raichu's ass. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Gaia number two. <laughs> yes. Taught it quite a few good moves. I'm feeling great. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, 46. 47. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Okay. So if I haven't said it, I'll say it right now, guys. Merry Christmas and uh, happy holidays. Yeah, that's right. I'm wishing you all of that. And a little bit more. Hope you guys got some good goodies and all that stuff for Christmas. Uh, I don't know what exactly I'm going to be getting. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some shoes out there. And, uh, yeah, don't know what kind of gifts I'm going to be getting because it's December 22nd. I don't know when this is going to drop, but, you know, it is what it is. And look at that. It's an elevator right there. And, uh, oh, we got more... We got more decisions to make. Okay, so there's nothing there. And uh, Repel has worn off, which, of course, is great. And I only have seven more. Crap, I should have stocked up on some more. Okay, so Riley's going to be right there. I, I'm not going to be battling with him right now, but I'm going to be going here because I think there's a... Yeah, there's quite a few other stuff that you can pick up and guys running around like, uh, you know, chickens with their heads cut off. And, uh, you know, I think I should be battling them. I think so. Let's see. All right. See the pleasant song? And, uh, yeah, he's a working class hero. That is good. That's good. That's good. Everybody's a working class hero at some point. And here we go. Worker Noel. <laughs> How appropriate. Especially right now if I drop this on December 25th, maybe. Hmm. Tomorrow's the 23rd, 24th, 25th. So, 20, let's see. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. <laughs> okay. So, I may, I may drop this episode on Christmas so Merry Christmas guys Merry freaking Christmas you guys received uh, episode 46 uh, I think this is 46 and uh, yeah 30 minutes long that is awesome now originally I was gonna be coming out with like a big ass marathon on Christmas but that means more recording more vocal recordings and all that stuff and I still got stuff to do outside of this so yeah you you guys are only getting two episodes per day right now and uh, well, look, look at that. He's coming out with the Magnemite right here. And I'm intimidating the crud out of it because, hey, why not? Let's intimidate him. And here we go with that close combat move that we just learned not so long ago. And that is how you do it. The only side, yeah, the side effect is that your both your defenses go way, way down. So you're going to be more vulnerable than anything. So I'm glad that we just beat him right there. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and grab this. Found ourselves an elixir, which is good. And uh, uh, let's see. There's probably something else right here. Uh, not right here. There's just, you know, bales. Or no, not bales. Uh, freaking, uh, I don't even know what to call them. And I missed out on that item down there. We still have to battle one more guy. All right. Let's go. Okay. Let's pick the right Pokemon right here. Let's go with Gaia number two because he's awesome. And uh, I'm going to grab this. Iron Tail. Very good move if you want to, you know, teach it to some, like, regular Pokemon right there. Defeat the rock types. That's right. Team Steel. And uh, here we go with another guy right here who wants to battle us because, yeah, why not? 
So here we go. Worker Brayden coming out with a Steelix. Didn't I tell you there was going to be a Steelix out there? I told you. And that Steelix looks big. So I'm going to go with a Drain Punch right here. And uh, hopefully this will actually work. So come on. Oh, oh crap. Yeah, his defense is all the way up right there. And he's going to go with a Rock Polish just to speed up a little bit. Okay. See how it is. And you're still not faster than my Pokemon right here, Gaia number two, with another Drain Punch. Hopefully this finishes him off. No, it doesn't, but it heals my Pokemon just a little more, which is good. And uh, there's that Sandstorm that we've... Yeah, we're not dreading. Come on, we don't dread Sandstorms. Except for Pokemon Emerald. We were dreading that. And here we go. Drain Punch for the win. Hadouken. Or Shoryuken. Yeah, it's one of those two. So there you go. Suck it, Steelix. How does it feel to fail? Not so good. Alrighty, okay. So Worker Brayden's been defeated. I'm a, uh, I'm a hero. And uh, let's see. Well, there's still another item right here. I just need a Downsy machine to use it, right? No, wait. Ah, uh, yeah, right behind me. And there you go, guys. You'll actually find a star piece right here, which you can actually sell for a nice amount of money. You know, money's always good. And uh, in my case, Super Repels would always be good too, if I had so many, which I don't. Okay, so we're done with these guys. Now we're going to go to the other room right here in Iron Island, and we're going to be battling uh, with uh, Riley. He's one of the few people that you'll see in Pokemon Platinum that you'll partner up with and do your thing. This guy, of course, I believe he was in a movie, right? Because... Uh, don't get me wrong, guys. I the, the only the only Pokemon movie I have ever watched was Pokemon the first movie, and then they came out with like so many afterwards that I believe they were in like non-canon and whatnot. So I'm assuming this guy was part of a movie or something. So whatever. And uh, we're gonna be battling against this guy. And wow, it's a single-person pa battle right here. I didn't know you could do that. Huh. Okay, so here we go, battling up against uh. Hiker Damon. Coming out with his nose pass. And, uh, yeah, it's a good thing that I have Hydra number four right here. And, uh, yeah, that's right. Learn it, get it, surf it. Oh, uh, yeah. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, it sounds like a frog, too. <laughs> it really does sound like a frog. And, uh, well, who's next? Who is next? Oh, yes, Onyx. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. All right. Let's go with another surf attack because we can. It will be easy. Yeah. How about that? How about that? Okay. That's another experience point right there for Toothless. And he's gonna come out with a Steelix. So I'm just gonna stick with Hydra right here because, uh, ironically enough, I think Steelix is still a ground type Pokemon. So I think this will be effective against him, right? Let us see. Let us see. Yes, it is. It really is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, look at that. Yes, level 39 Toothless. Yes, we're almost to that goal of uh, fully evolving it. Hell, yeah. Okay, so let's switch him up right here. Toothless would be good. And we're going to be battling this guy because I'm pretty sure he has Rock-type Pokemon, too. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's uh, let's see what happens right here. Alrighty. Okay. So he came out with the Graveler, which is all good, because you know what? Now, let's go right ahead with the Dig Attack. It won't be doing much, but it's going to be something. And, uh... There we go. Earthquake Attack. Actually works on you if you're digging, so... <laughs> wow, that actually hit me pretty hard. Yeah, I'm gonna... Ah, crap. Okay, so it's a fight to the finish, and this guy uses self-destruct, which... Yeah, oh, crud. There we are again. Ah, Jesus. Okay, so that, that, that really didn't work out the way I thought it would. And, uh, of course, nobody gains experience points because, if, yeah, Dummy right here had the experience share. And, uh, well, we're gonna go with Donatello right here, and he's just gonna destroy everybody with the move that helped destroy me first. Earthquake. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. That's how you do it. 
Suck it, Rhyhorn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling good about that. Feeling very, very good. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, my Pokemon are healed up. So, yeah, whenever you're, you're, you're partnering up with anybody, they will actually automatically heal your Pokemon, so that's the benefit of having them. Um, they're actually very competent, except for that chancy wielding one. I don't know. But this guy has a Lucario. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. Want it, but I can't have it because, or can't put it on my team because I already got guy at number two. So can't do that. And, uh, would you look at that? We are finally double battling against these people right here. Alrighty. Bring it. Just bring it. Alrighty, so we're taking on Battle Girl Tyler and uh, the other dude right there and of course we're coming out with some pretty badass pokemon ourselves you know lucario right here and my emo pokemon starblade that is right starblade let's get this let's do this bring it go with aerial ace i'm gonna go with that oh yes aerial ace will actually help us right here and uh, there you go oh, crud metacham is still alive and here we go metal claw that's right you read my mind you help me See, a better trainer than Barry. Way better to tra trainer than Barry and a way better partner. Barry just like, you know, he just powers up and then he's like, hey, do you need a helping hand right here? No, I don't need helping hand. I need you to destroy them. Jesus. And there you go. Aerial Ace does the trick. And that's how you defeat him. That's right, guys. It's a tutorial right there. That's why I do these walkthroughs. Just to teach you guys how to beat these guys. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Okay, who's next? Who is next right here? And uh, we need to get the the items right here. Pretty cool items. Um, we found ourselves an Ultra Ball. Um, yeah, there are some Pokemon right here that you can catch. I choose not to because you know I already caught my team. And uh, the hell? Huh? Okay, there's really nothing there. Unless I'm wrong. And then you guys can comment down below and just let me know that hey, you know, there's a hidden item right there. Just like you guys did with the the Dawnstone. And I'm going to go right here. And there's an item right there. Just to, Yeah, I'm not going to forget that. And uh, well, I'm just going to be grabbing every single item right here. As you can see, we found ourselves a magnet, which is cool. A very good useful item for electric-type Pokemon. And uh, let's see, let's see. Ah, oh, there's an item right there. And I think we're going to be battling somebody else. So let's go ahead and switch it out and go with uh, Donatella right here. Actually, you know what? Gaia number two, two fighting type Pokemon. Yeah. Okay. Bring it. This is no playground. Well, yeah, it kind of looks like a playground, but, you know, I can do it. You know, I can win. I don't know. Alrighty, so here we go. We, we're taking on two workers, Quinton and the other dude. And uh, here we have Gaia number two and Lucario. So I'm going to go with uh, Drain Punch or, yeah, Drain Punch. And this guy's going with Force Palm. Wow. And, uh, well, I'm gonna finish, well, try and finish this guy off right here. Take his energy away. And, uh, that, it, you see? You see? That's right. That's how you win. You see? My Pokemon can do it. Why can't yours? And yours is level 41. And, uh, <laughs> well, look what happens when you talk a lot of shit. Oh, it hits him? It does? Nice. Oh, crap, it hits me. Okay, so that, 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 oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> well, talk about karma, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you, when you talk shit. Yeah. That's what happens when you talk shit. Alrighty, so I learned my lesson right there. And I'm going with Toothless right here. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag Draven got karma. And uh, look at that, Machoke and Machop. Okay, I can do this. Uh, you know what? Let's inv invoke our or uh, impose our will on these guys with the Dragon Claw. Gonna pick on this guy right here, and nearly beats him. So here's the Force Palm, or better yet, the th the slap upside the head attack. And then, uh... oh well, <laughs> would you look at that? You, you see, here here I am. I am talking all this shit, and uh, Riley's backing it up. And uh, <laughs> bye bye, Lucario. All right, it's the Draven Show right here. On Gym Leader Draven's channel. And uh, it's two against one. Alrighty. Bring it. I can do it. I can go with Dig. I'm going to go with this guy right here. Because it's a rock type Pokemon. And I should go for advantages. Right, guys? Yes. And 
Well, he's going for revenge. I'm going for a dig attack right here. Oh, yeah. And uh, there goes that Geodude. You see? You see? I'm winning again. Oh, yes. And, uh, holy crap, he's going for submission, but will that benefit him? Ooh, he's gonna... Oh, he... Yeah, he got hit by recoil, but he didn't faint. So, you know what? I'm gonna switch it up to Hydra number two, or number four, because... Yes. He's got a move that can hit two Pokemon. And that's how you do it, guys. Plus, I... Uh, you know, if I wanted to use Earthquake, that would have made his Pokemon... Or Riley's Pokemon faint anyway, so... Here we go. Surf attack. For the win. Oh, yes. How about that? Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh wow, it turns out that the only Pokemon remaining is his. So here we go, another Surf Attack for the win. And uh, that is how you do this. That is, how th th that is how you take care of business. Oh yeah, that's right. So it turns out I didn't really need Hydra number four at all. But I did talk all that shit, and I, and I did learn my lesson, guys. I really did. Uh, last time, I'll ever talk shit like that. So let's go ahead and grab an item right here, and uh, we get ourselves a max potion, which is good for us, because, you know, it will fully restore our Pokemon's HP. And uh, let's see. There's Team Galactic right there, so I'm going to... Yeah, what I'm going to do right here... I still got two items right there. I need to grab them. Because it won't be a full tutorial if you don't grab all the items, guys. Even though I do miss quite a few. And, uh... Well... Let's see. Grabbing this item right here. We found ourselves a red shard, which is cool. Very, very good. And, uh... uh let's see, let's see. Who should I switch my Pokemon with? Ah, uh, you know what? Hydra number four. He needs it. And, uh, well, we're battling these two, uh, peoples right here. I think they're sidekicks, right? Or are they ace trainers? I want to know. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so let's go. Let's do this. Bring it on. Lopunny and a Quagsire. Okay. So my attack will work in some way. But then the other way it might not. Let's see what happens right here. Alright, so let's go with uh, Dragon Rage onto Quagsire right here. This guy is going for a jump kick, and, uh... Crud, Lucario is being targeted right now. You know, you could have used that Force Palm on the uh, low punny, but, yeah, you know, who am I to question you? You're the one that's beating everybody, right? So here we go, Dragon Rage. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye. Eat it. There we go. Alrighty, so he's coming out with a Hippopotas. Hippopotas. Is that how you say it? Hippopotas. Hippopotas. I don't even know. Uh, yeah. Well, we're gonna be going with a jump kick right there. Lucario's getting down. Going with a force palm right here, and, uh... Well, that nearly takes care of a low punny. So I'm gonna finish it off right here with everybody. I might just make Lucario faint. There goes Lucario, or Lopunny. There goes Lucario, or <laughs> Lucario survives. That's good. Very, very good. And uh, say goodbye to Hippopotas. Or Hippopotas. I think I just said it, yeah, Hippopotas. Nice! Okay, and Toothless grows a level 40. And uh, the Sandstorm is raging on. Oh, crud. You gotta love that. You really gotta love that. And here we go. I'm gonna go with... Uh, Metacham and uh, Staraptor Crud. So it looks like Lucario has seen better days right now, because it might just faint. It might. Okay, so I wonder if I could heal... No, I can't heal him. Alright, well... Let's go with Thunder right here. Why are you hitting the Flying-type Pokemon with that? And uh, there's that that close combat, so he's going to be more susceptible to my thunder if it hits. And, uh, yeah, that's right. Lucario fainted. So who's next? There's that high jump kick. Oh, crud. So we got two very, very, very good powerful Pokemon right here. And uh, we got Sandstorm going on, too. Don't want that. So uh, let's see. Come on, I got to hit him somehow. Okay, so I didn't hit. And, uh, well, I'm going to be uh, assaulted right here. 
And that thunder attack does not work and... <sighs> crud. God dang it. Alrighty. So here we go. Another sand sandstorm right here. God, I hate you. I hate you, sandstorm. Alrighty. Let's go right ahead. Let's try this one more time. <sighs> okay. Thunder attack and... Uh, well, there's that takedown attack that you really don't like. You're going to be hurt. And wow! It's like a huge chunk out of my HP right there. Just like that. So I probably need to train my Pokemon just a little bit more. And uh, would you look at that. Raptor is defeated. Oh yeah. Finish him. And uh, <laughs> Hydro number 4 grows to level 41. But it's about to faint. And it's trying to learn hyd uh, Hydro Pump here. And uh, well I already have Surf on it. So I'm not going to teach it Hydro Pump. Because you know it's going to you know. Yeah. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, well, I just fainted. Okay, well, what's next right here? Who's next? And, uh, well, like, we're gonna go with Starblade right here because if Starblade, if his Starblade can do it, then I can do it too. So, let's go right ahead and use a f Aerial Ace attack right here. Oh, yeah. Aerial Ace. How about that? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, okay, alrighty, and uh, yes, the sandstorm still rages. I think this is the reason why this video, or this, you know, this episode lasts a little longer than usual, because these assholes right here will not just, they will not faint at all. So, here we go, fly attack. Yeah. Okay, and then, uh... Alrighty, here we go, fly attack, for the win. Oh, yeah. Defeats a Curlier, so I've 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 already uh, you know, found its weakness right there. Alrighty, okay, okay, so that's a that's a very very good win right there. You know, good hand, good shaking hands with everybody right here, and uh, let's move on right now because yeah, <laughs> yeah, I kind of uh, messed it up right there. So I need to revive my Pokemon, and I need to battle these guys right here because you know they're plotting something. They're blowing something really, really big right here. So, let's go ahead and uh, do this whole thing right here. There's an item right there that we need to get. So, there you go, guys. We get ourselves the HP up. And, uh, well, we're going to have to go to, through the other way right here and uh, battle these guys. So, I'm just moving along. You know, just uh, you know, minding my own business because I beat everybody right here. Being a man. Being the Pokemon man, and uh, yeah, before I do anything, I'm going to be switching it up again. No, not really. Let's go ahead. Bring it on. This guy right here is like, you're the, uh, you're the reason why you're starting all this ruckus right here, because apparently the Pokemon here are going ape shit. These Team Galactic guys are doing something that's, you know, endangering their habitat, I guess. And yes, we're going to be battling him right now. So let's go right ahead and take on these two Team Galactic grunts. And they're coming out with Zumba and or Zubat and uh, Glammeow. All right, okay. All right, who wants to go first? Lexi, 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 Lexi. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the Surf Attack. Nah, I'm just gonna go with Ice Fan. It's a little bit more. Um, it's a little bit easier. It's a little bit easier for us. And uh, there we go. Zubat's been defeated. Fatality. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I am feeling that. Okay, and uh, well, let's see. He's coming out with his metal claw right there. Come on, finish him off. Finish him. And he does. Oh yeah. I'm trying to move around here. And uh, they still got four more Pokemon right here. So we're going to be going up against a Golbat right here and uh, Crow Gunk. Okay, let's see. What can I do to defeat these guys? Okay, there we go. Let's go with Ice Fang. And, uh, look at that. <laughs> Golbat. That's right. You haven't had a chance to hit me or anything like that. That's right. And, uh, let's go with the Metal Claw. Please help me win this one. From the bottom of my twisted little heart. And, uh, would you look at that? His attack just rose. And, uh, yo, crud. We're getting that Mud Bomb. And, uh, well, Lucario's... Accuracy just went down. Oh crap. Oh crap. This is ridiculous. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go right again and uh he's gonna go with his quick attack right here. And I already know the move. 
for this guy right here. I'm just waiting on it. All right, here we go. Surf attack for the win. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, it makes the Hound Hour faint. That's all, that's a, that, yeah, that's always good right there. Alrighty, and then uh, we got one more guy. It's a Stunky. Usually the Pokemon that I really, really don't like. Ah, oh, crud. So there we go. I missed, and he's going to be using his Force Palm. So that's no biggie right there, I meant. I mean, it could work, I guess. I don't know. It worked. Yes, it does. Alrighty. So that's pretty much it right there for the Team Galactic Grunts. We are victorious! And uh, they are crying. They are Their hearts are broken. That's right. And, uh, well, stop, stop. The combination is sick. Uh, le let's go, brother. We uh, got a big plan. Anyways! Hmm. <clears throat> and after that... Uh, Riley actually offers us a Pokemon egg. That is the reason why I have that open spot right there. Eventually, that egg will come out to hatch as a what? A Riolu, a fighting slash steel type Pokemon. Very beneficial for your team if you guys want a fighting type Pokemon. Kind of don't need it right now. And uh, well, I'm gonna be heading out right now. And uh, would you look at that? There's two places right here. Now this place. You can actually, well, it does have a second meaning to it. We found ourselves a shiny stone. And if you go in here, you'll actually see that, you know, there's one item right there. But don't, you know, don't ignore this place just yet. Eventually, once you defeat the Elite Four and everything, it has another purpose. And uh, that purpose I will show you eventually later. So we're done with this place, finally. And uh, let's see if anybody comes in here. No, nobody's in here. Okay, so we're done with this place. It has been 32 freaking minutes. I am happy. I am spent. I am pretty sure you guys are done talking to me or listening to what I have to say. Even though I have a very majestic voice. <laughs> Anywho, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going to the Candelay City Gym, and we're going to be battling for our next badge. See you guys.